Hello, welcome back to another week in my studio. This week's featured animal is the narwhal. Thank you for your suggestion. Starting with the creation of a narwhal art print by creating three thumbnails exploring some possible compositions. After some research about narwhals, their group swimming behavior seemed really peaceful, despite their rather pointy horns. The horns are not used for fighting, and it is theorized that the horns are used to impress or perhaps to sense and detect changes in the environment. Experimenting with different perspectives, including a top-down view, the chosen design was this underwater scene. It's a nice up-close and personal view with the narwhals. It also provided an opportunity to play with depth. Narwhals are a more obscure option as a series of designs to be added to my shop. They may perhaps be less relatable than the more urbanized animals, but the challenge of drawing a big range of animals is fun and is really interesting to learn about. They are enchanting, they are more secluded from people and is believed to be the inspiration for the mythical unicorn. Including some swirl effects adds a more magical feeling as well as bringing a sense of movement. A second piece was created using the same composition. A little more zoomed out view, painted using slightly different brushes and adding some decorative florals. It can be interesting to explore different art styles using the same composition. Which version do you prefer? Creating a sticker sheet, I'm using the same design as the narwhals that were painted in the art print as well as some greeting cards that were prepared beforehand. This speeds up the process of creating these stickers as well as making the most out of the work that went into creating other products. This time, a more sketchy and traditional painted look was adopted. It's also fun to use more typical rounded line art brushes for cute stickers. However, this effect also works nicely and would look lovely in a handwritten journal. 
Speaking of which, if you love to journal, why don't you check out this lovely channel where Linda discusses her approach to journaling. The narwhal horn is actually a very long and spirally upper left canine tooth. They can grow up to 10 feet long. Narwhals are very social and are found in groups called pods, which can comprise of a few or even up to several hundred narwhals. They help each other to hunt and evade predators. Perhaps the stickers were designed too close to each other, as one sticker sheet did not seem to cut perfectly. With the production of stickers, comes some sticker paper waste. The cutting machine can only cut within its own boundaries and I have ended up with a lot of leftover pieces. They have been left to pile up but a new idea provides an opportunity to reduce this waste. Two sizes of heart-shaped paper cutters were purchased. They will be used to manually cut little heart stickers that may be used for mini labels, journal stickers, or as a means to hang wall art. From now on, these mini hearts will be added as freebies for customers. Creating bookmarks also provides the same issue. The larger sized cutter will be used to create more freebies as well as a way to label pre-packed orders. Another package came in, this time holding some recycled sticker paper. These will be tested in a future video. If successful, they may be offered as a second sticker paper option. 
The paper has a very light color and so far seems like a nice viable option. However, this sticker paper is not removable and I wonder if this is a quality that customers will miss. This week, two bear cards and two narwhal cards were made. It's always fun to recreate old pieces and these bear designs are a remake of cards that were created a few years ago. This time we are using a new card template in the hope of enhancing the longevity of these products. A decorative border is added to the inner page of the card where a message may be handwritten. How-to instructions were also provided at the back of the card. The receiver of the card has more chance to decorate their home with a new mini art print as well as a loving message. This can reduce the chance of these greeting cards being a one-time use item and instead be kept as a nice decorative art for their home. This template requires more work as now the inner page of the card will need to be designed as well as the printing process has the additional step of printing on the other side. However, the decorative border of the cover illustration can be reused as the frame within the card. They can dive to depths of about 5,000 feet looking for fish, squid and shrimp, making them one of the deepest diving marine mammals.
Narwhal horns have in the past been sold as unicorn horns as they were believed to possess magical powers with the ability to neutralize poisons. This week's featured animal was the narwhal. Please let me know what you thought and which of this week's creations was your favorite. Thanks for watching. See you next time.